Breaking news, good evening, World War Three. I'm going to share what I know, which is barely anything, Peonville, hallelujah. But I do know one thing, Yahshua, the Mashiach, King of Israel, Jesus, the one that's one with the Father, seated at the right hand of God, praying to God for us. You know, the one we're supposed to be unashamed about so that we can live eternally when all this mess is over. So you got people tripping, power tripping. I mean, think about it. If I had millions in a gang of weaponry and nukes, I would probably be wondering when it was time to use them too. You know, if you just think of man and his nature. But um, prophetically, yes, we are headed towards... The end times prophecy, I, I believe, I'm not going to quote scripture right now, but I believe that like a third of the world is supposed to get smoked if it's literal. So there's some population control God style, you know, close encounter of a God kind end times prophecy. Um, and then you have wars and rumors of wars. You have the Ezekiel 38 war that everybody's waiting for. I don't know if that's one of the same with the the third of the world getting smoked or whatever, but you have a third of the trees getting uh, killed, all the animals, a bunch of animals getting killed. You have people's eyes and tongues disappearing in their mouth, um, which sounds like nuclear war. Um, this is all prophecy. So, you know, I mean, in that respect, I have to respect it because it's the word of Yah. And it's also prophecy. And so it's like counted all joy because, you know, I'm poor, but, Mine is the kingdom, and a lot of us are poor, and we're pressing, and we're praying. So ours is the kingdom. So that's a joyous, and that's counted all joy, and we're pressing toward the prize. And he's coming with his reward, and he's going to reign forever, and we're going to reign with him. So it's like, um, in a way, it's good to see prophecy going down. So that kind of, you know, it's like... Nobody wants war and all that stuff, but at the same time, the war is kicking off is like kind of like a sign. It's an end time sign, and it's and it's prophetic. And there's always been war. In fact, Yah, God, his one of his names is Man of War. So mm, the the war thing is kind of even deeper than humanity. I mean, all our movies are war, 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 war. On the other note, I think it's totally ridiculous that we have to have. So much money invested in more weaponry, it could destroy the world 10 times over. I don't understand that. That It's just, it's it's getting ridiculous. I mean, so each one just sitting there with the red button, like, are you going to nuke us first? We're going to nuke you. Like, And then if it both pops at the same time, oh, shoot, we did it. Oh, look at us. Oh, we're all melting and we got radioactive rain for the next 50 years or whatever. Isn't that just the stupidest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> And I'm not even smart. I don't have big masters in nothing. I'm not the president. I'm not even in government. I barely know anything. But I know for a fact that that nuke in this place is one of the stupidest things I've ever freaking. But then I guess if it's the devil using men to do it, if it's basically evil and it's the devil, then what would I expect? Because the devil went against Yah himself, which is the stupidest thing you could ever do. Because he's infinite and all powerful. So why would you ever try to rise against that? So I guess I answered my own question. Why is everything uh, that man does in the end time see so immature and stupid? Because it's the devil. That's their king. Their king is the devil. You are of your father, a liar from the beginning. He lies to himself. If you lie to yourself, you're absolutely stupid. And what is the definition of foolish? One that's headed to destruction. So I guess it's it's foolish and it's stupid and it's ignorant and it's it's just it's it's retarded because that's the source. The source ultimately is stupid. So I answer my own question. You know, um, I'm plugged into the all powerful socket, Yahuwah Elohim, Judge, Creator, King of everything. Be encouraged. If you haven't received the Lord, Moshiach, the Messiah, I suggest you do because he's taking me from a clucker and a street cat, smoking crack, smoking meth, 
popping E, smoking heroin. He's taking me from that to seeking humility, being married, operating in self-control, loving my neighbor, preaching the truth, being set free of all addictions, lust, pornography. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying? So I guess in a way, um, you know, he'll take <coughs> what is corrupt and make it cracking. And that's why you need to receive him because he says, seek him while he may be found. Time is short. Draw nigh to him first. He draw nigh to you. You love him because he loved you first. He went to the cross and he's a mediator between you and God. You want God in your life. Be encouraged.